action. In this class, we are going to define and understand what heterolytic fission is all about. Remember, if you don't call it heterolytic fission, you can call it heterolytic bond breaking. Fission simply means breaking up. Now, as I said in the previous videos, there are two types of bond breaking. There are two ways the bond between two atoms can be broken. The first way is the homolytic method, which involves equal sharing of the electrons after breaking up. Now, the second method is what we are looking at now, which is heterolytic method. And what is heterolytic fission? Heterolytic fission or bond breaking is a type of bond breaking that involves unequal sharing, unequal sharing of electrons. How do I mean? Watch this. If I have a substance like AB, a compound which is AB, remember this AB can be something like sodium chloride, where this is my A, this is my B. Now, if I have something like this as a compound, the bond between them, which is like this, I have A with a bond connecting it to B. Normally, in chemistry, when we write the compound, we don't show the bond. But bear it in mind that there is a bond between the two atoms, A and B. And this bond contains two electrons. And these two electrons were contributed by A and B during the formation of this bond. We are dealing with covalent bonding. That is organic chemistry. Remember, majority of the organic compounds undergo covalent bonding. Now, assuming this is an organic compound and the bond between them is a, is a covalent bond, which simply means that the two electrons used in forming of that bond were contributed by the two bonding atoms. A contributed one, B contributed one. Now, it is time for us to break the compound into two. We want to set A free and set B free. Now, if I break this and I discovered that after the breaking of the bond, atom A collects two of the electrons. These two electrons that were used in forming this bond. Remember, we are breaking this bond. If A alone collects all the two electrons, while B takes nothing, you will discover that these two electrons that were used in forming this bond were not equally shared between A and B after breaking up. Only A took the two of them. B was given nothing. So this type of bond breaking in which there is unequal sharing of the electrons between the two atoms is what we call heterolytic fission or heterolytic bond breaking. Now let's take a look at these two, A and B that were formed. Remember we said A took the two electrons, which means A gained. Remember, Inside A and B, these two electrons that are contained in this bond, A, A contributed one, B contributed one. That is, one belongs to A, one belongs to B. But after breaking up, A took the two of them, B got nothing. You discover that the number of electrons A gained is not two. What A gained is only one. Why? Because one of the electrons belongs to A originally. So A took his own electron and also took the one that belongs to B. So out of these two electrons A collected, only one was gained. The other one belongs to A originally. And you know, when you gain an electron, you have a negative charge. But when you lose an electron, you have a positive charge. B lost his electron to A. So B that loss to carry a positive charge. Now you can see that this is not like the homolytic breaking. In homolytic, nobody gained, nobody lost. I treated that in the previous video. So no charges in them. But in this case, A gained, B lost. A took the two electrons, B took nothing. That's why they are carrying charges. The one that gained the two electrons will, give it, will be given a negative charge. The one that lost his electron will be given a positive charge. And you know, in this case, we no longer call them free radicals, just like in homolytic bond breaking. Rather, we call them ions. And what type of ions? Remember, 
the positively charged ions are also called the electrophiles. B is the electrophile, the positively charged ion. Why the negatively charged ion is known as the nucleophile? This simply means that the products formed in heterolytic bond breaking are electrophiles and nucleophiles. Why? Because they bear charges, negative and positive charges. So in summary, heterolytic bond breaking or fission is a type of bond breaking that involves unequal sharing of electrons. And the products formed in heterolytic fission are the nucleophiles and electrophiles. Now what can cause A to gain all the electrons and cause B to lose? The same thing we said in homolytic bond breaking. The reason that will make A to collect all the two electrons alone is due to high electronegativity difference between A and B. It simply means that A loves electron more than B. And because A loves electron more than B, A will take all the electrons to itself. Therefore, we say that A is more electronegative than B. For instance, if I have HF, hydrogen fluoride, if the bond between H and F is to be broken, this electron belongs to H originally. This one belongs to fluorine. But if I try to break this bond, remember, fluorine is very electronegative. And the most electronegative atoms we have are fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, and the other halogens. These are electronegative atoms. And because fluorine is very electronegative, it will tend to collect all the two electrons that belong to the two of them to itself. So you have fluorine minus charge, which means it has taken the two electrons, plus hydrogen that has lost, which will be a plus charge. This is the nucleophile, the positive charge, the negative charge, while the positive charge is the electrophile. In the next video, we are going to explain nucleophiles and electrophiles. So do well to click the next video and do not forget to like this page, share it with your friends and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.